Hopping and former CKE restaurant CEO and author of the book, The Capitalist Comeback, uh, The Trump Boom and the Left's Plot to Stop It, Andy Puzner. Andy, uh, you know about running these kind of businesses better than anyone else. Uh, Walmart, obviously, uh, pr pretty cordial there. What do you make, though, uh, of the idea that they're saying, hey, Congress should intervene on this uh, and, and, and they should take control and perhaps set a higher federal minimum wage? I don't really. It depended upon where Congress would set the higher minimum wage. At the moment, it's 725. You can't hire anybody anywhere in the country for 725. So the minimum wage is really irrelevant. In fact, you can hardly hire anybody for $10 an hour in any place in the country, even economically depressed areas. Walmart, Walmart as you noted, is at 11. It's competing with employees, with Amazon, it's competing with Costco, it's competing with Target, even with the banks. Bank of America now says they're going to go to $20 by 2024. If Bernie Sanders really wants to see wages go up, if people really want to see wages increase uh, to, a, to a market level that's high enough for people to uh, do all the things that Bernie Sanders claims they should be, he should be out there encouraging economic growth. Economic growth is driving wages today far more effectively than any minimum wage bill that's ever been passed by the federal government. You've got not only 10 straight months of 3 percent plus, 9 straight months of 3 uh, percent right. plus GDP growth, but for people in retail and for people in restaurants and hotels, it's been 4 percent for eight, eight, 8 to 10 months. So it's we're really seeing the kind of wage growth you'd like to see from economic growth. All these proposals, uh, Sanders' proposals, they're just going to kill the growth. Well, but here's the thing, though, and, and it helped uh, Sanders' position a lot when Amazon did this, right? Not only did Amazon jump to $15 an hour, and in a recent letter, Jeff Bezos, uh, perhaps goading on Walmart, said, do it. Better yet, go to $16 in this letter. <laughs> so, so, you know, when your industry rival says, okay, we can do it, we can go to $15. Now you really look like you're just greedy, like you just want all the money. And by the way, let's remind people, the first quarter for Walmart, that was the best first quarter in same-store sales in nine years. So they can't say the business isn't doing well. Hey, look, if Walmart's, if they want the best employees, if they want employees that can really service their customers, they're going to have to increase their wages, whether or not the government does anything. Because, as I said, they're competing with these other companies, these other brands that pay a higher wage. Everybody competes for the same employees, whether it's fast food restaurants or Walmart or Costco or Target. We're all competing for that same group of employees. And Walmart is eventually going to have to increase salaries. The, prob the question is, should the government mandate an increase that exceeds what the market is doing. And uh, it, look, Sanders, I think he's wasting his time. I think $15 an hour is rapidly becoming superfluous. It will clearly be superfluous by 2024 when the bill the Democrats are proposing would take effect. Right. That it, you're going to be paying $15 an hour just if we keep, if the economy keeps growing, if we follow President Trump's capitalist free market policies, the economy continues to grow, wages will go up without Bernie Sanders. You know, the, Bernie Sanders has a lot of friends. Math isn't one of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Andy Buzzard. Thank you very much, Andy. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Charles. So now it's 3.30, folks. That means